Well, this is my Start Right Bandit uh, bandsaw, which has actually featured in a, in a previous video. Uh, I did something on it when I uh, mounted it on this electrical cabinet, uh, which I gave some feet, instead of the uh, rather spindly tubular legs it came with. This is a really nice uh, bandsaw. They did it three versions. The plain bandit was a single speed, the bandit 5 is a 5 speed, and the bandit 10 was a 10 speed. And the pulleys at the moment are currently on the floor next to the motor. And this was primarily a woodcutting bandsaw with cast and wrought aluminium, I think they described it as, as um, suitable on the lower speeds. Uh, and in order to be cutting steel with it, I've been using high speed steel blades which can be run faster and running the motor at 20 hertz. When I bought this um, as an eBay purchase um, from Sheffield, so it was a bit of a trek to, to go and collect, but I, I had some other stuff up there and was able to stage the journey um, in Burton. But it came with this Eurotherm. Um, VFD and uh, have to say much as people criticize the uh, the manuals for the uh, the Chinese VFDs you know and I've got quite a few of the Huan Yangs I found the manual for this thing to be one of the most obscure um, I'd, I'd read just apparently lots of it was wrong um, but it was really hard to even track one down that supposedly match this model but anyway it's it's worked fine but the problem has always been that it um, because of running the motor at 20 Hertz um, it's lacked um, torque and it's been fairly easy to just um, stall the, the blade out um, and the, the VFD just goes into in into a, a motor protection mode so uh, the plan is to put another reduction stage on it. So, down on the floor, we have the original motor. And yes, it is a Hoover. Um, three quarter horsepower. And in the start right, green hammer finish paint. And got the five step motor pulley which has been balanced and the five step pulley again with evidence of balancing that fits onto the main drive spindle both cast iron nicely made uh, and I think the motor on the single speed actually more or less runs um, or that the motor spindle drives drives the wheel direct so if I can squeeze around the back because as, as ever things are a bit tight in here and you can see the drive spindle bearing assembly uh, which uh, it's got a three point mounting with shims uh, to get the alignment all set up and piece of previous salvage is this pulley which is an A section belt pulley um, twin groove though we would only use one groove um, but is actually the same size as the largest diameter pulley this way round We'd have trouble getting a slot in the cabinet, but the other way around and leaving some clearance, the alignment is such that I can cut a, a slot for the belt to go through and down into the bottom cabinet. And uh, for this pulley, we'll have to get um, bored out um, and then uh, sleeved down to the three quarter inch. Um, so this pulley has a, a one inch bore 
and the shaft is a three quarter inch bore um, that would be quite a, a thin wall bush so this will probably end up getting bored out and if you see the um, keyway is very shallow it's a little bit deeper on this side and this actually used a tapered gib um, to secure it to the uh, the motor it came on which was a, a rather elderly motor I picked the whole thing up as uh, a salvage I don't think motors uh, of any particular use being so bulky but the um, the pulley has uh, come in handy now I think so somehow we have to come up with a way of mounting a frame in here to support the motor and um, a jack shaft and then a belt drive up through the back and I'd also like to move the VFD inside the cabinet and uh, then put some uh, some proper controls up here now I should um, by over speeding the motor be able to get uh, pretty much the um, the original top speed back but uh, since I rarely ever cut wood on, on this I'm not so worried about the um, the high speeds and just bringing everything down into a better range of metal cutting is really the aim of the game.